This is something I've been wanting to find out for a while. I've had the radiator of my CPU cooler at the top of my case since I built my PC. But ever since I upgraded to the 3080 Ti from a 1070, I feared the extra heat pumped out of the new GPU has been affecting my CPU temps as much of that hot air created by the GPU is exhausted out the top via the radiator. The fix is simple enough. I just need to move that rad to the front and set up the fans as intake. But I figured this is an opportunity to do a quick test and find out if my fears were actually warranted. Now, this isn't trying to answer the question of what is the best or proper placement of the radiator. If you haven't seen Steve's video over at Gamers Nexus about radiator placement, please check that out. He did some great testing on proper radiator placement. It's really worth the watch, watch the whole thing. The aim of this test and the question I want to answer is does GPU heat significantly affect the CPU? And as usual, I wanna keep the test as simple and concise as possible. So the first configuration will be as is, the radiator at the top, four intake fans, three 140 mil and a single 120 at the front slash bottom, one rear 120 mil exhaust with the added two 120 mil fans on the radiator exhausting out the top. The second configuration is to simply place the radiator at the front of the case with the fans pushing air into the case through the radiator and moving two of the 140 mil fans from the front to the top. I will run two tests with each configuration. The first will be 30 minutes of Cinebench R23, and the second is one hour of Forza Horizon 5 on extreme settings. The GPU is a Founders Edition 3080 Ti, CPU is a Ryzen 5900X, and the cooler is a Kraken X53. The fans are set to a custom curve that sits around 50%, ramping up exponentially once the CPU hits about 60 degrees. I did clean the whole rig before I started this test. I spent time taking off each fan and hand cleaning them while watching Star Trek on my phone. It was nice and clearly it was needed. But anyways, let's look at the results. Starting with Cinebench, we see that there was a slight but pretty negligible difference of only about one degree with that front radiator pulling in fresh air, probably accounting for the small drop. We see the liquid temps even closer still with the averages only 0.6 degrees apart. And in this case, GPU temps, not very relevant, but as you can see, there is some evidence that the front radiator setup might be choking the GPU of fresh air, even if only affecting the average temps by half a degree at this point. So with that test, we get a nice baseline, which shows us how little difference there is between placements when the GPU is not pumping out as much heat. The temperature of the air passing through the rad in either situation is going to be pretty similar. Now to get the answers we're looking for, we need results from the Forza tests. Starting with CPU temps, we see a drop for both average and max in the front rad setup, a difference of over seven and a half degrees in the average. The liquid showing a similar change. In fact, the average liquid temps dropped by seven and a half degrees for the front rad and the max dropping by almost nine degrees. The GPU temps were pretty close, rising about 2.5 degrees in the average after the setup change. So there you have it. At least with my machine, we can conclude that modern GPUs do affect the CPU. The GPU is pumping out heat, that heat is passing through the radiator, which leads to higher liquid temps, resulting in a proportional rise in the CPU temps. But was the effect significant? That's the question I asked earlier in this video. And my opinion would be that the effects are not that significant. The changes in CPU temps are enough to say that it's worth changing the radiator placement if you can. It's not always possible in some cases, though most cases nowadays have enough mounting room on the front like mine, or kind of like the front side, like this one. That being said, I don't think this is going to be detrimental to the gaming performance at all. This is simply about longevity and peace of mind. As a matter of fact, the performance of the Forza tests went down from an average of 117 to 114 FPS after the change. And I presume this is because that new fan placement was choking off that fresh air to the GPU. But that's easily fixed with a fan rebalancing, which I did and ended up with similar FPS and GPU temps to the original setup. So yeah, if you have radiator exhausting air or you're building a new PC, set up for intake if you can. Now, if that's not an option, there's a few things that I can think of that you could do. One of them is being undervolting. I published a couple videos on this recently and in these tests that I did just now, I had the GPU set up as stock so it was pumping more heat than I normally like. So an undervolt will help reduce that heat a bit. Number two is fan speed. Turn up that fan speed. Turn up the intake fan speed. Of course, this comes with the side effect of more noise me no likey, but it will help. Number three, if you have filters, you can remove them. It will help. You're gonna get better airflow, but you're gonna get more dust, especially larger particles, which means you'll have to clean your PC more frequently. Again, me no likey. <laughs> and number four is not really recommended, but it's an option. And that's if you make the top 
as intake. So you can change that fan orientation to pull air in from the top, but it's not the most ideal and you'll probably be forced to change the fans orientations and other parts of your PC to get a nice balanced setup anyways. And I just forget I even said that, it's just a bad idea. And that leads me to my final option. And this is my, this is my top. This is my favorite for sure. It's just don't worry about it. Don't, don't worry about it. Ignorance is bliss. I mean, even with the space heater of a GPU and relatively silent fan setup that I have here in my machine, the difference is wasn't enough to even wreck performance or cause any noticeable changes for that matter. It would have been fine if I left it. So let me know what I did wrong in this video. Let me know what I can do with changes with the tests or anything like that, because I'm always looking to improve. So let me know in the comments below what your setup is and please send your feedback. I always appreciate it. This has been Tech Illiterate. My name is Nick. Thank you for watching. All right, it's been a little while. Let's get in the mood. Let's go. Do affect the CPU. The G that heat is passing through the radiator, which leads to higher liquid temps. Just this one's, you need this one. So let me know in the comments below. Let me know in the comments below who did it better than me. Let me know in the comments below why you think I'm a moron. So let me know in the comments below what your setup is, if you're gonna change it, or if you think this test was totally bogus. <laughs>